welcome back. Without any further ado, I discovered at the end of the at the end of the last episode that well, we have a scroll to teleport to Riverville. So this entire last four episodes of wandering, you know, over there and then around and around and around and doing all these things was pretty pointless. And I'm feeling like, like a real idiot. But since we're, you know, all of 200 feet from, from the town, I don't really see a point in wasting that scroll. Thought I heard something. So we got we got we got farms. Are all of these little towns and outlets and oh, hi dog. Is everything gonna be you know outlined like this? That each building has its own map marker? Ahoy. Ahoy. You know, I can't help but feel that you're meant to be wearing something else, but... Ahoy! Ahoy. Is... is this your house? I mean, I don't... Dura's sickle stroke. It, this is meant to be Merrick's house, I thought. Hey, you there! Yes, you! Do you want to know a secret? Uh, what do you mean? What, what secret? Well, I found something. Something really, really awesome. But I need help from somebody as tall and strong as you. How about it? I show you what I mean, and you promise to help me in return. What do you say? I can't help feel that I'm... being played. Yet I, I'm still intrigued. Uh, yeah, why me? Don't you have, you know, parents instead of a random stranger from the road? Dangerous? I, I don't know. You wouldn't be as close to the village and to the guards then, would you? And I don't want Daddy and the others to find out about this. That would spoil the surprise. Um, speaking as someone who has had Daddy give him a surprise in the past, I think this might not be the best idea. What what did you find? I'll show you in a moment, but first, you have to promise to help me. Come on, don't be a chicken. I reserve the right to beat you if you, if you, uh, if you're screwing around. Awesome! I knew you'd say yes! Come, follow me! Do I have to? Don't wave around the sword when you're chasing the child. That probably gives the wrong impression. Oh, strong box. What is, what is... Look, I found this oh, yesterday when I was searching for shells. Awesome, isn't it? It's, uh, it's a casket. Yes, and you know what? If you shake it, you can hear a rattling as if there are coins in it. All we need to do is break it open. Then we can split the loot. And I could give Daddy the money for the pointy beard man. So what do you think? I've already tried to open it, but it just won't budge. Actually, I just tried to open it. Uh, who's this pointy beard man? Maybe you can tell me about that? Yeah, that man from the big city who always comes after a moon turn. He wants money from the farmers. Daddy says he works for this jank or Borg or something like that. Ah, 
the landlord. Your daddy owes somebody money. Yeah, I think so. He always tries to make us think everything is okay, but I'm not stupid. And maybe there are enough pennies in this box for daddy to pay the pointy beard man. Who knows? Maybe. Okay, let me give a whack at it. Sure. See what's in there? It's monsters. I guarantee it. There are... Hmm. Oh, come on. What is that? There well. aren't any pennies. Only these weird nails and a piece of paper. Here, take a look for yourself. Ooh, a blueprint, I guess. Maybe? Read the old notice. Day and night it stands there, sublime, proud, full of power, giving blessings in time of need on our path until we die. So, does it say anything? Some kind of riddle? Poem? I'm not sure. A poem? Hmm, what if it's a riddle? That's what you grown-ups call it, don't you? What does it say exactly? I'm being talked down to by a child. A blessing in distress? That... Hmm. Oh, sugar. Why do you grown-ups always have to talk so complicated? That is... Hmm. Wait. Father Vildas the priest, he always talks about blessings at the sermons. Maybe... Maybe the writer is talking about the shrine. The one behind our house. Quickly, you should go take a look over there. I have to go back to the farm to feed the leers, but tell me at once if you find anything. Sure, kid. Just nails? Oh, no, just the old note. Wow, we got dark fast, isn't it? Do I have a mage light on me? But I have the staff though. Hey kid, which house is yours? Well, that was less useful than I hoped. Are you a dog? No, a. kind of like a rhino kind. Don't you have some Did you look at the shrine yet? Kurinoi Gatsi Dorma Talata. That is way more vowels than any name needs to have. Yes? Uh, yeah, let's, uh. I'm new. Is there any work to be had? Work, huh? If you know a thing or two about herbs and the healing arts, you should talk to the mayor. His companion has been sick for moons now. Hmm. Poor Mathilda. I've never met a woman more generous than her. She doesn't deserve that. Okay, any other news? News? Where have you been these past moons? Narin. The whole city's talking about nothing else but the Mad Magister. Thirty dead novices. Oh, boy. I How could something 15. like this happen? Within the Order? Okay, uh, have fun with that. The shrine behind the house, I guess. You know what, we're going to go find an inn, sleep the night, and then search during the day. Park that way. Mm. 
Does this place have... Oh, that looks like a mint. That looks like a mint. Oh, hey there. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Villager. What do you want? Ulmar Sunstone. Malfess's blessings. Same to you. Huh? What do you want? You look a little distraught, to be honest. I guess you could say that. Uh, where do the songs you sing come from? It depends. Some of them are ancient Andrelian traditions. Some have been written by famous bards, and some of them I've collected through my journeys. Huh, good for you. What would you, you like request. to hear? I really need that new herbal essence for my uh, hair. The Song of the Wayward Wanderer. Sure. I just don't see the fucking point. It's from the Undercity. Our oh, ancient world seemed new well in here. I'd like, I'd like a room, please. I, do? I, there it is. It may not be the palace of the Golden Queen, but it is comfy, lice free, and affordable. What do you say? Deal. Wonderful. I'll open up the room for you. Sleep soundly. Okay, um. Well, let's let's see if you have this and that. The roast rabbit is really good. Take a look for yourself. I'm totally here to buy something, not to uh, sell you stuff. He did find a home in the city below Where life neither purpose nor honor can hold The woman who loved him held out her heart And her suffering tore it apart Cause he strayed in the void as a Wow, I am not a good merc- good self- good self- the path Safe travels. Him in yep. the Evening. In the deep red after blue. That's as distant as Anyway, I need to go. The sermon is Which of these rooms is actually the the Talk to you soon. Will do. Bye. Hey, there we go. Mmm. <sighs> When a little boy asked well, him for the guiding path, he said, Do not risk me. Boy, huh? What do you want? A foreigner, huh? Well, you've chosen a strange time to visit this country. Oh? Despising the path that is meant just for you. Yet the dreams that you see. That's just how they are. Hey, I can actually put some food. Or as distant mm. as they Just got a new delivery of ale. Anyone? Well, now that we've done that, we can start oh. uh, looking around here for that for that shrine thing. Is that the mayor up there? Alfred. Um, uh, who are you? Oh, just a just a traveler. You're Alfred, right? Did didn't you didn't you? I heard about a guy named Hero. Didn't you used to know that guy? A uh, Hero. I. Uh, uh, this is about his death, isn't it? Uh, the rampage. I'm afraid so. Of course, who hasn't? Hero was one of us, after all. It is terrible. Simply terrible. Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I I always expected that something like this would happen. Oh? Malthus, forgive me for talking about a keeper like that, but it's the truth. What do you do? H how'd you know? Hard to explain, really. Come on, uh, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. We always okay. Be too easy on this do you mind if I steal some eggs? My sir? Well, Yarrow, Yarrow, that's quite a subject, you know. Yep. You were right when you said we were best friends. Our fathers knew each other 
but as long as I can remember, Yarrow and I were getting into trouble together. At least, uh, until his mother died. Oh? He, uh, didn't seem to be old then, I guess? No. Bandits killed her in broad daylight on, on Penny Road. Today these incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. She was on her way to Ark, accompanied by three other women, and they were set upon at the pass. None of them survived. Sorry to hear that. Yarrow was shattered. I think the worst part was how his father went downhill after his wife's death. The fishery decayed, and the poor guy filled his days with boozing and sleeping. It changed Yarrow forever. How to change him? Well, that's a good question. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something inside him woke up, so to speak. A desire to make more of his life. Old Mother Jenica noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write, and soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. Awesome. When he didn't have to help his drunken father, he helped in the village as much as he could. So he became a productive member of society. That sounds positive, of course, as it is to say. Indeed, that's one way to look at it. It wasn't long before he was the, the jewel of the village. The striving young fisherman destined for great things, even though he was only on the path of a manufacturer. And then... The inevitable happened. A keeper of the order came to Riverville to see the prodigy with his own eyes. And behold, in addition to Yarrow's ingenuity, he also had a slumbering magical talent. The keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. I, I thought only Eridice could do that. I've only seen him once or twice, as he rarely visited Riverville. I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I, th I thought only I thought only Eridice could be could be keepers and stuff like that. <laughs> if, if one of the manufacturers makes it to Sergeant of the Guard, it's reason enough for a bard song. He must have been the first novice in centuries who was not of the sublime path. So yes, sir. It is uncommon. More than that. So, what do you mean by you thought something like this would happen? Oh, it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plans. How he wanted to make the world a better place to become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a there was an anger. An anger mixed with deep grief and disappointment. Uh, I don't think he was aware of it because he drew all his strength from that anger. The strength to do all this, to, to learn and to work day and night. But it frightened me, like the Blue Death. It slumbers inside the pathless mage who believes he can master magic without the Order's help. At first, it grants power, but then, one day, it bursts out in an unholy wave of destruction, turning him into one of the monsters in the old songs. <sighs> anyway, I'm just an old man. What do I know about these matters? Now let me go to sleep. All these memories are making me weary. Well, thank you. Sorry to have bothered you. You have a wonderful day. Yes, of course. Um... Well, that was sad. Sorry for your loss, man. Okay, let's go to the farms in the area. See if we can't find that shrine. There's a light up there. Is that flowers or a light? 
So it arcs this way. So what's up here, I wonder? I will have that route for lunch, dang it. The Myrad Tower, huh? What's the Myrad Tower do, I wonder? Is it just a kind of a signal, a watchtower? Oh, it's got a bed, which is owned by someone. Just saw him on the cross on it. I'm sure I don't know what that's that supposed to be. So where's the shrine I'm supposed to be seeing? Is it near the road, maybe? Just far is over by Yarrow's house now, apparently.
blue things are good. In increased enchanting, better health. I like blue things. Is this where the shrine is? This marker? does seem to be behind the house. Nope, bandits. Where's the bandits at? In the face. Wrong time, wrong place! I don't know what you guys were thinking, setting up uh, right next to the camp. Okay, I'm 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 getting that one. I need that. I need that as well. Oh, I've already read it. What am I doing? And of course, I'm over in town because why wouldn't I be? this for the, for the rash get wreck I can do I already have one of those so yeah we can drop that No, this would have been so much easier if, si if Silas had said, you know, oh hey, it's behind my house, and my house is also that one. A foreigner, huh? What a surprise. Is it? Are you being sarcastic? Fildis! Fildis! Can you teach me? You... Walk blessed, my child. How may I help you? Are you a magician? Can you tell me what the path is? <laughs> what it is? Now that's quite the question you're asking there. But fine, why not? Pretend the I've only been in this land for about two days now. For one, it is the name of holy writing that encompasses both the revelation of the Lightborn after the fall of the Eterna King Azataron and the journey of the first vassals to Enderon, who founded this country under Malthus's guidance. It also tells us the virtue of the path, the ideals by which every Endrelean should live, which is the only way to salvation. Tell me more. Um, the journey of the first vassals? Yes. Enderal was, other than countries such as Nerim, Kira, or wherever you come from, an uncharted land. It was Malthus himself who showed a young couple, Selna and Keteron, and their followers the way to Enderal. But it would take far too long to recite that entire tale, and I doubt you have that much time. If you are interested in their journey, I suggest you read The Path. It is good for the soul anyway, even for an outlander. Um, the revelation of the Lightborn, perhaps? Yes. Now don't tell me you've never heard of that before. It is recounted the same way in the entire civilized world. It was the Lightborn who saved this world from the chaos it fell into after Azataron's death. So what's this holy calling then? Yes. Only a people united in flesh and spirit shall prevail throughout the ages. Verse 39. There's the path of the manufacturers, whose hard work provides for the iron and food of our people. Then there's the path of the erudites, who follow professions that require higher knowledge, such as scribery and alchemy. And then there are the sublime, who were born to lead our country. 
Within one's path, a person is free to choose, but to cross those borders is almost always blasphemy. So it's a caste system then? Ah, yes, if you want to call it that. That's what I'm calling it. All right, thanks. Um, thank you for your explanations. You are welcome, child. Walk bless. Uh, quick question. You're a priest. Do you know healing spells? Can you heal me? Let me see. Hmm, yes. That is no injury light magic couldn't heal. Malphus bless this body. Rid it of its afflictions and endow it with life, path abidingness, and new strength. May your light guide this soul. You know, normally I would think you'd be more magic using, but I, if a prayer will do it, then sure. Has anything interesting happened around here? Well, I suppose that depends on what you deem as interesting. interesting I'm certain you've heard about the tragic events in Ark. Apparently the magister who murdered those children was from Riverville himself. And then there's the mayor's wife. Yeah, I heard She's about that. She's been sick for moons now, and even I cannot help her. Why not? Dreadful times are these, truly. I wish I could do more. All right, thanks. Oh, one more question. Where's the shrine? sense vibrations horrible bad vibrations oh yes I feel them very strongly okay what do you mean vibrations oh yes something peculiar surrounds you clothing <gasps> your aura oh Oh, by Malthus, no! What's wrong with my aura? It is indigo blue, the color of the dying. It, it must be a magical anomaly, but still, that doesn't bode well. But you're lucky. The stars are on your side. I, just like you find myself in deep trouble <laughs> and uh, maybe we can help each other maybe so uh how can you help me except possibly in giving me dancing lessons i have a special object in stock a skull according to the legends it comes from the midst of the kiran desert and us arcanists refer to it as the Master Skull. It is a risky experiment, but at midnight, if you balance the skull on your head for one full hour, it might help to reharmonize your aura. Maybe. So, let me see if I understand this right. This aura, which only you can see, is the aura of death. And naturally, you have this unique magical artifact that will help me to balance my aura. My aura. Gee, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. <sighs> Why not? What do you need help with? It's simple. A couple of days ago, something precious was stolen from me. My beauty potion. Uh, and until you, yesterday, so sorry. I was For in the dark as, well as, as to who took it. A vision has shed light onto the matter. It was an aura thief. Did you say your beauty potion? Yes. 
Its essence is fresh water directly from the sources of Inodan. A real rarity, you see. <laughs> but it is as potent as it is exquisite. To those who drink it regularly, the potion grants both an otherworldly allure, <laughs> as well as it completely stops natural aging. Mm, is that so? And before you ask, yes. Only through the elixir was I able to maintain my youthful beauty over all these years. No comment. What? What's an aura thief? Yes. Old beings from past times, way before the Pyreans. For common eyes, they are invisible, but we, spiritually gifted, can see them. Convenient. Aura thieves only have one reason for existence, and that is to disrupt harmony by playing horrible pranks on innocent people, such as the theft of my potion. I, uh... Yeah, we're going to embrace the heretic. How can you be sure it wasn't a rainbow-colored unicorn who stole it? Watch your answer seriously. <sighs> Unicorns are fairy tales, you should know that. It was an aura thief. I can <laughs> feel that deep within me. All right, uh, let's go find your potion. Where was it? I have a suspicion. Yesterday, when I danced at the river, I heard a voice out of nowhere whispering right into my ear, and it only said six words. Find me in the Clearwater Cave. I'm sure it was the potion who spoke to me, but I'm too old to go exploring old caves like this one on my own, which is sad since said cave is only a few minutes march from the village. <laughs> It's an abandoned mine just up the hill that leads to the pass. Go there and find my potion, and I will reward you most generously. Yes, you'll reward me generously by giving me a skull. Greetings. Uh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? So what's that? No, oh, you're sure. Whoa. Sad medicine. Are you a hunter? I want to learn how to use a bow. What you do is you aim and then you point the point, and then you stick the pointy end in the other guy. Uh, where's that cave she mentioned? Are you bandits? Of course you're bandits. Why wouldn't you be bandits? <laughs> you fucking scum! You'll pay for that! I 
don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm looking for a shrine that's behind a that's behind a house behind one of the houses in the village. What is this? Is this the barracks? The medicine's house. Actually, let's uh, meditate real quick. So much stuff for me to get, and never enough points to get it. Do is we're going to we're going to get more get more bow damage and then with the next number of points then we can start down the light armor and alchemy tree. I don't know where your house is, so I haven't looked there yet. What house is close to this one? Probably this one. But I didn't see a shot. Is it up on top of the rock, maybe? You're kidding me. Kid. Let me tell you a secret. This is behind the house. That is behind the house. This is not behind. This is near the house. This is next to the house. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing here. Old inscription. Beginning of the current, a big stone with a raised bleak tree in the west. So at the beginning of the river, a big, a big, a big rock. I've come so far so that I could uh, <sighs> completely ignore my fever so I, can, so I can help a child. Well, oh, there's a big rock to the west. Is that where the beginning of the flow is? down. Probably, yes. I 
thing it has to do with this river here. So the, the flow begins somewhere over this direction. And west is a big rock. Like that one, perhaps? I'm going to have to climb up there. There's a reason I don't wear heavy armor. It's because I can't always carry it. You know what? We're just going to go find Yero. Not Yero, but uh, Jaspar. Talk to him. And then come back for this. Just as soon as we have lunch for the day. Oh, shovel. It isn't wonderful. Now I can go go rob that grave. You know, I was going to say that out of context that sounds bad, but I think that any sentence involving now we can go rob that grave is probably bad, no matter the context. <laughs> 